Oticon state that as a result, they should ensure a greater amount of longevity with their hearing aids. Hey guys, it's Matthew here from Hearing Tracker, keeping you up to date with all new hearing aid technology. The big question for today is how much can one person talk about a hearing aid charge up? To be honest, not too much at all, but by the end of this video, you'll know whether or not it's worth investing in the long awaited Oticon Smart Charger over and above the standard Oticon Charger 1.0. As always, if you're keen on keeping up to date with the latest news in the hearing technology world, then I would definitely recommend subscribing to this channel, pressing that grey notifications bell, and you'll be updated every time we release a new video. Now, I might be wrong, but I'm guessing if you've landed on this video, then you already have a bit of an understanding as to why rechargeable hearing aids are advantageous over and above hearing aids that use standard batteries. So I'm not going to bore you with too much of that information today. The main focus today will be on the chargers themselves and which hearing aids they work with. Oticon's latest range, the More range, have two different form factors of rechargeable hearing aids. Both the More Mini Right R and the More Mini BTE R. On a side note, if anybody out there knows why Oticon put Mini in the model of all their hearing aids, which are clearly all getting bigger, can you let me know in the comments? Anyway, both of these styles of hearing aids are available in three different technology levels, the more one, more two, and more three. The lower the number, the more advanced the hearing aid. Now, Oticon have two different styles of charger available. As standard, when you order either the Mini BTE or the Mini Rite, you will most likely have been issued with a standard desktop charger called the Oticon Charger 1.0. This charger has been around since the birth of Oticon's previous hearing aids, the Open S Mini Right Rs. Now, in my opinion, I actually think that this charger is one of the coolest looking chargers on the market. Early on, when Oticon first launched this charger, they boasted that they'd had some of the world's finest designers put this thing together. In fairness, just because it's a hearing aid charger, that doesn't necessarily mean that it needs to be ugly, but not all manufacturers seem to have got that memo. It is simple in design and intuitive to use. To charge the hearing aid, it uses inductive charging rather than conductive charging, which means that there are no physical contacts built onto the hearing aids, which is advantageous for two different reasons. Firstly, this makes the hearing aids more durable as there are less routes of entry for moisture to enter the hearing aids and potentially cause them to break down. And secondly, as there are no physical contacts, they can't wear out over time. So without them, the hearing aids should be just as effective at charging on day one as they are after a few years. The ease of the design also means that you can simply drop the hearing aids into the charger and they slot nicely into place with a magnetic pull rather than with some other manufacturers when you need to physically lock the hearing aids in place to align the charging contacts, which can make inserting and removing the hearing aids a little bit more difficult, especially for those with dexterity issues. As far as your daily routine will go with these hearing aids, I recommend to all of my patients to drop their hearing aids in the charger just before they go to bed. With the charger permanently plugged into a power source, three hours of charge will fully charge your Oticon hearing aids to give them a full 24 hours of life. This figure is reduced to between 16 to 20 hours the more that you use the streaming function. One thing that I do really like is they're turbocharged. So imagine that you fall asleep on the sofa one night and forget to charge them. That doesn't mean that you have to go the whole of the rest of the next day without hearing. A 30 minute blast in the charger whilst you're getting dressed in the morning will still give you six hours of battery life. While your hearing aids is charging, an LED on the back of your hearing aids will flash orange when you initially put them on charge. And then when they're fully charged, that will turn green and mean that they're ready to be worn. Your hearing aids can be left in the charger all night and it won't do any damage to the batteries due to the clever circuitry in place which stops the batteries from overcharging. Plus, another thing that makes using these hearing aids super easy is you don't even need to turn the hearing aids off when you drop them in the charger, they automatically turn off, and the same applies when you take them out. They will automatically turn on a few seconds after you remove them from the charger. I think that from what I've told you, you can appreciate that using a set of rechargeable hearing aids is really easy and takes away the faff of changing batteries and turning on and off your hearing aids every day. I personally happen to like the original Oticon charger and haven't had any complaints from patients. However, there are a few features present in some of Oticon's competitors' chargers, which now have filtered through into the new smart charger, which makes it a souped up version of the original, and that's why it was awarded a Red Dot Global Design Award for 2022. 
details of which I'll add in the description to this video. Now, just to clarify, to start off with the new Oticon Smart Charger has all of the same functionality of the original Oticon Charger 1.0. So none of those features that I've already described are compromised. They're the foundations on this, such as it being inductive, three hour charging, and your hearing aids turning on and off automatically when they're removed from the charger. However, on top of that, the charger itself now has a built-in lithium-ion battery. So it doubles up not only as a charger, but also a power bank with the capacity of three days worth of charges. So, for example, if you go camping for the weekend and you don't have access to electricity, or if you forget to turn on the power source for your charger one day at home, your hearing aids will still function the day afterwards. In practical terms, when the charger is plugged into a power source using the USB-C cable that Oticon provide, your hearing aids and the charger's built-in batteries will be charging simultaneously. When, however, your charger is unplugged from a power source, it will automatically go into its power bank mode, allowing you to charge your hearing aids on the go. One thing to note is that when the chargers are shipped from Oticon HQ, they're shipped uncharged, just due to transport rules when it comes to lithium-ion batteries. So Oticon recommend giving them a full charge before you use them. To charge the power bank alone, Oticon advised that it would take four hours in total. And if you're charging the power bank and the hearing aids together with both starting completely dead, it will take around eight hours. As you can see here, there are three LEDs on the back of the charger of which their function changes depending on if the device is in charging mode or in the power bank mode. When it's in charging mode, the orange lights indicate that the power bank is charging. When all three are green, you know that it's fully charged. When in power bank mode and not plugged into a power source, if you open the lid, a number of green LEDs will light up. The number of lights corresponds to the number of days left worth of power the power bank has remaining. I.e. three lights indicates three days left of charge, two lights, two days remaining, and a single green LED means there's one day's worth of charge left in the charger before the charger itself will need charging. One thing that really pleases me is the fact that Oticon have designed the new charger with a closable lid. Yep, a closable lid. It does not take much to please me. The LEDs on the back of the hearing aids are lit up when the hearing aids are charging. And as a result, I've had patients complaining in the past that it stops them from sleeping. So they've had to either cover the charger or charge their hearing aids in a different room. Well, not anymore with the Oticon Smart Charger. You can simply close the lid and sleep in peace. Having this closing lid also turns the charger into a handy carry case so that if for any reason you're traveling and not wearing the hearing aids, you can drop them in the charger and they'll safely be stored in the case when you're on the go. Plus, they'll be being charged at the same time. The last and final feature that I am definitely a fan of with the Smart Charger is actually a byproduct of it being an inductive charger. This type of charging produces a very small amount of heat and with the lid being closed, this heat is trapped within the charging case. So each time the hearing aids are on charge, this dries up any moisture buildup that may have accumulated during the course of the day within the hearing aids. Oticon state that as a result, this should ensure a greater amount of longevity with their hearing aids. So team, there you have my thoughts. Let me know in the comments if you rate this upgrade over and above the original Oticon charger or if you've upgraded yourself. I hope that you found this video useful, guys. If you like this video, then go on, click like, you know you want to. If you have any comments, then drop them beneath this video and I will be sure to get back to you straight away. Plus, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do so. I'll see you in the next video.